Why real leaders do not eat and shit with their people? Everyone, reach out to Tom Pang YouTube channel, which is a nonprofit channel that promotes ethical business mindset in Vietnam. And look, I know all about ethics. I work for a guy who has none. You check out his channel so that more people can understand all about ethical business and educate themselves in this practice. Thanks. In the military, I believe in the U.S. military, let's say, leaders, let's say if you're a commanding officer, all right, of your squadron, of your unit, you do not sleep in the same bunker you do not sleep in the same area as your team if you're the leader you sleep in a different place you shit in a different place you don't even eat with your team and there's a very strong psychological reason for this because when leaders eat with their team you know they're at the same level the people the team will see their leaders eat shit and sleep and how do you respect somebody that eat in the same place shit in the same place and sleep in the same place as you you know let's say you are a military leader and your soldier sees you sleeping at night <laughs> how are you gonna instill respect and command and fear in your team when you know they see you as a normal person and I believe in most military uh, uh, organizations, leaders do not eat, sleep, or sleep with their team. I'll give you another example. Kim Jong-un, the dictator in North Korea, right? You know, the North Korean people believe Kim Jong-un doesn't have a butthole and that he doesn't shit. He doesn't need to shit. It's true. Google it, you know? The people of North Korea think that their leader does not need to shit because he's like God. Why does God need to shit, right? And of course, this is, you know, taking it to an extreme, but, uh, but the idea is the same, right? The government of North Korea want their people to believe that their leader doesn't shit. If the leader shit, then he's just like normal people. Then why does he have the mandate? Why does he have the you know, authority to rule the people, right? So that's why the government wants, to, wants the people to believe he doesn't shit, right? Same idea. And that is a, a very sound psychological reasoning for doing that. Um, and I want to take that into the world of business, right? If you are a leader inside a business, right? and you are like buddy buddies with your team, like your friends, you eat together, you laugh together, you tell jokes together, like your friends. How is your team going to respect you? How is your team going to take command from you? How is the team going to listen to you? If you are their friend, because friendship means that you're equal, right? But leaders and the team is not equal because if you're a leader, People have to do what you say. People have to do what you want when you want it, right? You say, I want you to do this. And if they say, nah, you're my friend. I don't really feel like doing it. Are you still the leader, right? Leadership means they have to do what you want when you want it, right? And, but when you are very close, very friendly with your team, oftentimes that doesn't happen oftentimes you know your team will not take you seriously and they feel that they can not listen to you right because you're friends right and i see this again and again uh, in my organization and in others and strong teams have strong leaders and those strong leaders are very tough right uh, they fire people when they don't come to work they fire people when they don't perform they fire people when they don't respect their work right uh, and those people, the, the, the really tough leaders, you know, they build very, very, very effective and, uh, you know, high performance teams. And amazingly, those people get respect. Those people actually get respect from the team members. The team members actually, you know, appreciate and respect the leader by being tough. And I see this again and again where the leader is weak. You know, they don't fire people. They want to be friends with everybody and uh, they don't 
want to take the difficult you know, actions to correct you know, bad behavior inside the team. They don't want to say things to the team member that they're doing it wrong or you know, they should come to work on time. They don't want to do it because it hurts feelings. Those people, those leaders you know, that don't want to you know, say the you know, things that make people feel bad, you know, usually they have a very weak team, very shitty team. And those teams generally do not perform. And I see this again and again. Uh, you know, those teams with weak leaders, you know, people don't even come to work. You know, you, you have a team of maybe like 60 people and only 40 people come to work. 20 of them are, you know, like sick. Not, not because they're really sick, because they feel, huh, the leader is not going to do anything. The leader is my friend. I, I don't feel like working, so they don't come. Again and again, I see this in my own organization and uh, in many others. And, you know, this is a lesson that I have to learn, uh, you know, myself as well. You know, there were years w when I was really nice to my people. Like I bought them ice cream, I gave them whatever they wanted, you know, I made sure, I made sure that they're happy and they didn't respect me at all. They didn't even come to work. They complained about policy. They complained about this and that and this. And, and, and then they go out and they write shit about the company, you know, like, Niceness does not, you know, pay. Niceness does not give you results. Niceness does not give you respect. When you're nice, people take advantage of you. And that's the reality, right? So being a leader, you know, you have to keep some distance from your team. You have to make them a little bit scared of you, you know, and you have to tell them when they don't perform. You have to tell them the truth. And uh, you have to be not afraid of firing people. You have to be not afraid of telling, you know, what your team has to do to satisfy you, right? And those are the true leaders. And those are the leaders that, you know, perform in my company. Those are the leaders that will become, uh, you know, people that are significant in my company. If you do the same, you keep um, some distance between yourself and the team and demand performance. I know that you can also be a great leader too. Take fucking action and don't be a fucktard.